I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducer. In this session, I will be discussing how do you measure force and torque. Before starting the video, I request everyone to subscribe my channel. If the channel is useful, I request you to share with your friends. Moving on to the discussion, first of all let us understand what do you mean by force. What is force actually? The force can be defined as any cause that produces, stops or changes the motion of a body or tends to produce these effects. So how do you calculate the force? So you can able to calculate force is equal to mass into acceleration. Correct? That you already know. How do you measure the force? There are different methods. Especially we can use load cell. I have discussed in detail about load cell in my previous video. I request everyone to go through that particular video and it is available in the description box and the i button. There are different type of load cells available. Hydraulic type load cells, pneumatic type load cells, then piezoelectric load cells etc. So one more advantage, the force between 5 Newton to 20 kilo Newton can be measured by using load cell. That means a wide range of force can be measured using the load cells. I request you to watch the video once, then you will get an idea how to measure the force. So it is a one of the best method to measure the force. Next is what do you mean by torque? Torque is nothing but force into perpendicular distance. Then you can able to get the torque. In electrical machines, we need to uh, find out the torque. In all the type of moving part, there must be a torque. For example, torque of a DC motor. How do you calculate the torque of DC motor? Yes, there are different methods available. The methods of measurement of torque are as follows. Gravity balance method, mechanical torsion method, optical torsion method, electrical torsion method and strain gauge torsion method. We will discuss individually. So how do you measure the torque by using the following methods? First in the foremost, I would like to tell you how do you measure the torque by using electrical torsion method. First of all, we have a shaft. It is a mechanical part. It may be connected to some other motors. I need to measure the torque. The direction is already given. It is rotating at an angular speed of omega. Clear? Omega you can able to calculate. Omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60, right? Where n is the linear speed. Okay, 2 pi n by 60. You can ma mark this. Our ultimate target is to measure the torque. And also one of the important segment for the measurement is there is a slotted disc. You can see different slots, shaded portion and uh, non-shaded portion. Likewise, you can see different type of slots. And the slotted disc has been coupled with a suitable transducer and the electronic uh, measurement units. Clear? That also can be observed. The distance between two discs is almost the L, L distance. So that is the gap between two discs. Then the thing is with the help of this slot disc you, you are going to count. You are going to count the pulses. You are going to just check the counting with respect to the rotation. That counting will be directly connected to electronic devices. Okay. So the count, count you are going to compute. A count of pulse gives a frequency or shaft speed. That count that gives the amount of torque. A measure of the time between the pulse from two wheels signal is proportional to the twist theta and torque. How many number of count is happened? That will be directly proportional to uh, the twist or the twist theta and torque. Now you can combine the torque and omega. Definitely power can be determined. So you know how to calculate the power. Power also, shaft power also can be calculated. P is equal to tau into omega. But the main thing is we need to discuss how do we measure the torque. The torque you will be getting with the help of the, this particular slotted disc. It measure the count. That count will be directly proportional to the particular torque. Hope you understood how to measure the torque using electrical torsion method. Another important method is strain gauge torsion method. The main component of strain gauge torsion method, we are having strain gauges. You can look at different arms, RG1, RG2 and RG4 and RG3. Here uh, all are kept in 45 degree. If you take an axis over there, you can make out the angle as 45 degree. Clear? That is also very clear. 
here rg1 and rg2 the resistance will be almost fixed but the resistance of rg4 and rg3 that is varying with respect to the changes in movement clear that point you have to remember and also we can have an observation on the shaft this is a shaft i put a tick mark okay this and this will be the axis of rotation it is rotating in clockwise direction that is true correct what is our goal our goal is to measure the torque is it not okay now the strain gauge will be kept along with the rotating shaft once the rotation happened once the rotation happened you can take out that particular strain gauge and uh, you can do the bridge balancing using the Wheatstone's bridge which is given below now we can determine rg3 and rg rg3 and rg4 can be determined clear let us talk about working when the shaft is under motion you can able to check the rg2 and rg3 anyone any one of the resistive element can be measured which is variable so uh, the torque that will be proportional to the change in resistance so with respect to changes changes in resistance you can able to evaluate the torque this type of arrangement is known as strain gauge torsion method here the construction i have already specified for bounded strain gauge of 45 degree helix with the axis rotation is kept it over the when the shaft is under motion any one of the particular arm is going to elaborate or elongate what are the advantages there are fully temperature compensation no worries about temperature variation then maximum sensitivity is ensured the drawback is circuit is little bit complexity and sometimes there are errors due to the variation in the resistance value so this is type of this type of torque measurement is known as strain gauge torsion method in this session i have discussed two popular methods of measurement of torque first one is uh, electrical torsion method so here mainly you are focusing about the slotted disc what, uh, what about the count how, how much amount of how about the count regarding the slotted disc with respect to the count uh, the, that is directly proportional to the torque produced by the shaft so the count will, counting will be done with the help of that electronic interface. There is an electronic unit which is kept in bottom. Using that uh, counting will be done. That counting will be directly proportional to the particular torque. So this is known as electrical torsion method. Afterwards I discussed about strain gauge torsion method. We have already discussed the strain gauge very long back. It's available in my channel. Kindly go through the topic strain gauge. You will be getting a good idea about strain gauge. Okay. So with the, uh, in case of uh, strain gauge torsion a meter the strain gauge is the main component which is coupled or which is connected with the, that particular shaft so with respect to the movement the value of resistance is getting varied yes so that you are going to measure with the help of this Wheatstone's bridge principle so this type of arrangement is known as strain gauge torsion meter if you are having any doubts you can put up in the comment box definitely i will revert finally thank you very much for watching this video